Hi, I'm Ken Reed, and I'm going to be your instructor for this series that we call 10 Essentials for Musicians, and then beyond that to Practical Theory 1 and 2 and 3. I look forward to exploring that with you. I need to tell you a little bit about myself for this first video, so bear with me. First, perhaps you think you've seen me before. I have one of those faces. but not those faces. So here's a bit of my background. When I was seven years old, my older sister started to take piano lessons. I was too young to uh, take the lessons myself. So, but she was learning by note and so forth, but I would come and just try to pick out the things that I heard her play and uh, find those same things. So I kind of started as a musician by ear. When I was nine, I was old enough, I was allowed to start taking lessons, and so I learned to play by note. Played those things in a both left and right hand, thinking treble clef, bass clef. The whole while, though, I'm still on my own, kind of picking out songs and wanting to play uh, by ear. When I was 11 years old, uh, the band director came by and was recruiting people to take lessons and join the band. And uh, he said that French horn was the hardest instrument. So I thought, that's what I want to play. And I, I found out what is hard about the French horn is not so much the technique as it is the ear. You have to be able to know what is a minor third or perfect the various intervals because uh, they're very close together on a horn. So that helped to develop my ear. It also helped me to learn to play a melody and to think in terms of melodic line because that's all you have when you're playing a brass instrument. But as well, I'm learning how that fits into a, a larger group, both a marching band kind of thing and a symphony orchestra. So I'm learning that repertoire. Then I started to take uh, jazz piano lessons from a jazz pianist in town. Because really what I wanted to do was uh, develop um, along those lines. That was kind of my heart music. And uh, so the, the harmonies and the kind of lines that would be played uh, went through that. And he taught me how to play pop style music, how to do the rhythm in the left hand and the right hand, and how to do a melody, uh, left hand, right hand. It was uh, very helpful training. After that, I realized I was gonna go on to music school. So uh, I switched over to studying classical piano, now at a more ad advanced level than I, I had when I was younger. I took music theory. And I, I found that in music theory, kind of everything came together. The, the ear um, playing, like it, it gave me a, a system by which to be quicker at figuring out songs. It uh, uh, helped to explain jazz and why this worked and why it went there. Um, it helped me in understanding a melody and what the typical structure of a melody is. It helped me to think in terms of chords. Along the way, I learned to play guitar and played in a band. I uh, loved jazz fusion. I loved arranging, and uh, so I arranged some things for our uh, high school band. Uh, I even wrote a musical that our uh, youth group graciously did and took around to several different churches. Um, so I was sort of becoming a composer that wasn't really classical music and uh, uh, wasn't really pop music either. I was kind of living in all those different worlds. Well, that's what I want to explain to you because I have this diversified background myself, kind of being a jack of all trades and yet with advanced degrees and all those different things that I was a jack of all trades. And I guess you could say I've become more well-trained in each of those different areas. So what I want to do is come back and help you know exactly what you need to know in order to be able to flourish in all the different ways as a musician. Um, I hope that this course uh, avoids the problems that happen with most theory courses and uh, that it uh, helps you to become a well-rounded musician. That's the goal. That's what we'll talk about in the next video. But, uh, here we just needed to get to know me a little bit and the, uh, the background of why I think the way that I do. Thank you.